Is that true? You want to give your mom a kissies? Hey everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Allie and today we are going to be talking about Choco's DNA test. I have not officially introduced Choco on my channel before, so I just wanted to do that real fast. Choco is my dog that I adopted in February. He is about a year and three months old now. Also, I want to mention that Choco is full-sized right now. A lot of the times when I'm walking him, people ask like, Oh, is he a puppy? He acts like a puppy still sometimes, but not in the sense of like he's gonna grow. I feel like he's like the perfect size. He's about 15 pounds. He loves to cuddle. He's super sweet. He kind of struggles with some separation anxiety, which we're working through, but that is definitely difficult. He is also extremely smart. He's just a smarty pants. I got a smart little boy. He also likes to chew and he's super playful. All around, an adorable dog. We just wanted to know what kind of dog he is. The shelter that I adopted him from said that they thought he was a mix between Chihuahua and Terrier. You know, Terrier is just a really general thing. We wanted to know a little more detail. For my birthday, my friends got me a dog DNA kit. First, I'm going to take you back and walk you through the process of how we did the whole DNA test thing. After that, we are going to discuss the results. So let's get going. Kit that we will be using. So it comes pre-packaged and then inside it looks, oh, that fell out. It looks like this. So I'm supposed to slightly peel back at the arrow right here and wait approximately two hours after a meal or treat before collecting the DNA sample. Here's my deal. He ate like three pieces of kibble off the ground 20 minutes ago. Okay. I think we're gonna wait. I want it to work. <sighs> hey y'all, so it is a few days later because I, for the life of me, could not get Chaco to let me stick the little thing in his mouth to take his swab. So, had to wait until I could have someone help me. It says, once both swabs are dry, insert them bristle first into the protective sleeve and don't reseal the protective sleeve. I'm just supposed to write the owner and pet name on the sleeve along with a confirmation code. I think what I did was satisfactory. It's ready to go. It is USPS. So I'm just going to go take this down to the mailbox, drop it off. Once I activated the account online, it basically said it will take possibly up to 10 days for them to get this. <sighs> I'm so excited. The test results came back while I was recovering from my wisdom teeth getting removed. And when I saw them, I was just so excited to film a video about it and talk about it. And so I've been having to wait a bit until it's easier for me to talk. So I first want to start off with sharing what my little guesses were about what breeds Chago has in him. First off, I know that he has some Chihuahua in him. There's a way, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but if you have seen chihuahuas before or spent a lot of time around them or have them yourself, there is a way that chihuahuas will look at you and you just know they're a chihuahua. Chaco does that to me sometimes. My guess is that he is part long-haired chihuahua. I think that he also has a mixture of miniature pincher in him. My mom thinks that, but I think she's right. What's so interesting to me about Chaco? One, his coloring. I think it's beautiful. I love that he has the little bone um, shape on his chest, nice long hair, and it's so soft. I love his little snout. And yes, you, you're so cute. Yes, you're just so cute. And I love his little like mane that he has. I think it's so adorable. He also has really interesting ears. Sometimes he'll have them popped up like that. And then other times, you know, they'll be down or like sometimes he'll have them back. When he has his ears back, I think that he looks like an actual seal, which is really weird. And then other times, me and my partner think that he looks kind of like a fox. I also want to share with you real fast the guesses of some of my family members before I share the results with you. So my mom thinks also that he's a long-haired chihuahua and a miniature pincher and also has terrier in him. And my dad, my father, what a sweet man. He said, fox, ferret, and chihuahua. So his guess is like fake, but the chihuahua I would I would agree with. Pretty much the rest of my friends and family had no idea or thought that he was also part chihuahua and part miniature pincher. My mom really, like her miniature pincher idea really got in our heads and influenced our opinions. Okay, so let's get into the results. 
They detected nine breeds in Chocos DNA, and the top five are the following. So 40% Yorkie Terrier, 31% Chihuahua, 9% Pomeranian, 6% Miki, and 4% Australian Shepherd. Let's just talk about that real fast. The Yorkie surprised me. Terrier in general, sure, but like specifically a Yorkie, the Chihuahua, we all knew he had a bit of Chihuahua in him. Pomeranian is like less than a tenth of his DNA. He is also 6% Miki. I had never heard of the Miki breed before, so I don't know a lot about dog breeds, to be honest. And 4% Australian Shepherd. Surprisingly, I can see the Australian Shepherd a little bit. It's kind of weird, but it makes sense to me in some way or another. Terrier is the largest part of him, so the Yorkie, and then they classified the Chihuahua, and then he has 2% Rat Terrier. Under Companion, 9% Pomeranian, 6% Miki, and 3% Pigonese. He has 5% Poodle, so 3% of that is Miniature, and 2% is Medium Poodle. The Poodle? 5% Poodle? I'll see an ounce of poodle in that boy. And then the herding, the Australian Shepherd. I would never guess Australian Shepherd. I would have never guessed Pomeranian or Miki or Pigonese or Poodle. I would have never guessed most of these things. On the website, you can look through all of the breeds and kind of read different things about them. I think the Pigonese are so adorable. Oh my gosh. It also gives you a breakdown of the like guesstimated like family tree. So they think that one of his parents was a Chihuahua and Pomeranian mix, and then the other one was a Yorkie and a Miki mix. That's really interesting. I also like that this website lets you see things about his health. So it says that he's clear for 29 genetic conditions that could impact his early vet visits. So far, all of his vet visits have been perfectly fine. Obviously, like I don't know what the best dog DNA testing services or anything like that. I just thought that this was a really fun one to see all of this stuff. It also gives info about his traits, so like coat color and type, his patterns, things like that. And then ideal rate range is 7.9 to 15 pounds, which is interesting to me because he's about 15 pounds right now, but I can't imagine him being much smaller. So those are the results for Chaco's DNA test. Obviously Chaco is just the most adorable boy ever and I love him so much and I just think it's really interesting to know a little bit more about him because we really didn't know anything. And um, when I adopted him, it was just that he was found um, as a stray. I just love his personality and he can get pretty riled up sometimes. He gets so excited and playful and I think it's really cute, but I think it's so funny to see him go from that to like being such like a little sleepy boy who just wants to cuddle like under the covers. Like right now, he just wants to sleep. He's like mid Sunday now. Comment down below and let me know if you think any of the breeds that Chaco turned out to have in him were surprising to you based on looking at him or the things that maybe you would have guessed that weren't on there. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. And if you aren't already, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more lifestyle content from me and more of wonderful little Chaco over here who loves to make appearances in my videos. And if you want to see anything more dog related, let me know. I definitely am interested in filming a video that is about some of the dog products that we bought. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you all next time. Bye.